Hello everybody. Uh, I have a Gorilla Grill Silverback uh, pellet grill. It's real similar to Trigger. It's real similar to a lot of the other ones that are out there. This is the one I chose. Um, I want to talk a little bit about a problem that I had and a solution that I figured out. Um, <clears throat> we recently went on a vacation and when we came back, I went to grill last night and nothing was working. We had a hurricane come while we were gone and it rained probably forcefully here in Florence, South Carolina. We're an hour away from the beach, but still, you know, rain and whatnot kicks up. Um, I have not been using a cover for my grill because the one they sent me was cheap and it tore within the first use of it and I just tossed it and never used it again. Um, but let me tell you about the problem. Okay, so I went to grill last night and I was getting an error message. It said ERL. I went online and on Gorilla Grill's YouTube page, there is a video that shows that the ERL means that the temperature is low, there's an error, and that probably the pot on the inside that gets filled up with pellets was maybe feeding pellets through and it wasn't firing right, and it says to clean that out and then try it again and it should work, and if not, give them a call. Okay, so I cleaned it out, restarted it, and pellets weren't coming through. So right away, I'm thinking, okay, pellets aren't going through. We got to figure out what to do to correct this. So let me show you what I've done. Okay, so right away, I thought, okay, I can tell that this is a box and this is a, this is a little piece of metal on top. I unscrew these, uh, these screws here. I was trying to pull this up. It wouldn't move. It's actually connected to the burner that's inside of there. But I could see the auger turning while I had it on and nothing was coming out. And I thought, okay, well, something's stuck in here. So I took off this screw thinking, okay, well, that's got to hold it. And then there's one here and there's one on the other side. I took those off it still wouldn't slide, it's like stuck in there. Okay, there is a screw here and a screw here, but neither one of those will turn. And it's part of the same metal, so I don't think that actually does anything other than hold that cap closed. So, <laughs> my next thought was, okay, I gotta find the other part. So, I took the box off, and to take the box off, you have two screws here, two screws here, and you have uh, two screws on the end here, and that doesn't quite release it. What happens is, all of these wires are kept together with zip ties. I clipped the zip ties so I could sit this on the ground and get, get a better look at this. When I opened this up, all I could see was compacted sawdust that looks kind of like that, mounded up here, okay? This has gotten wet and it is re-solidified into like a cake. So I took a vacuum, I got my shop vac out here. I took a vacuum and I started vacuuming out this. This is what I've gotten so far and you can see, now I can see this auger. Now pellets can flow freely into here. I still need to check the bottom of this um, pellet dispenser to see you know, if it's caked up as well, but I can tell right away this needs to be chipped loose and vacuumed out, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so I turned this, this uh, auger thing upside down, the, the, the pellet feeder, and there was some caked up here, but as soon as I moved it, it all fell backwards. I imagine all that will feed through once I put it back on here. We're going to put it all back together and give it a shot, okay? Okay, so the auger is actually working now. It's feeding pellets out. And you can see that they're getting hot. I can feel the temperature rising. It appears it's working. So I'm putting some bolts back on. I went ahead and put the bolts on top of here. You see the auger turning? And it feeding pellets out. It drops right in front of the burner. We're gonna call this fixed. I'm gonna put it all back together and see how the temperature rises. Right now it says it's, uh, it's blinking at 105. We'll see what it does here when I put the top on. Okay, so when I restarted it, it came up with another ERL, but the, the thing was turning. I did hear pellets dropping, so I let it cycle itself off, and then I turned it back on, and now it's, you can see that it's smoking. Uh, I'm going to watch this again to make sure that the temperature rises like it's supposed to, but I'm going to call this pretty much done. We're going to check back in a second, okay? Stick around. All right, I'm at 250 degrees. Everything seems to be working great. I think I fixed it. We're going to call that done. <laughs> 